Hi, Fatimang. Hello, Ipriki. <laughs> how are you? I'm okay, thank you. And how are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. Thank you. Uh, you're joining us all the way from Michigan, yes? Yes, I am. Yeah, indeed. where you've been, you've been uh, exploring your career quite brilliantly. Yeah. I must add. Of course, we've <laughs> had the, the famous 2020 Black Swan. I don't know. I'm not sure COVID-19. If you look at it, it's black, but I, I don't know. They call it Black Swan. Black Swan event happened. <laughs> And now we're all at home. Yep, and I definitely. It's been a bit of a challenge for you to handle. It is a challenge. You know, it's uh, in weird times like this, you always wish you were home. So uh, not being able to be home is, is it's terrible, <laughs> you know. And I could have been home at this time because of it's uh, the summer here. So it's normally the time that I get to visit my family. But uh, now I'm here. Mm. You know, so talking of which, I mean, I? Uh, our listeners, uh, those who listeners, those who are watching this, this video, uh, have had time to see your profile at the beginning and as we were announcing the episode. So, I mean, you're, you're South African, Susano. Who is the human being? Tell us who is Hoti? <laughs> well, Hutiman is a uh, soft person crazy person <laughs> ever smiling i think but, but i think all artists are crazy i think for you to just want to say i want to be an artist you must be crazy in some way yeah. you know so i'm i'm just somebody that's um soft kind an artist a driven person a person that likes being happy all the time very compassionate um yeah things like that you know there isn't much about me i i'm a dreamer and I guess that's why I'm here trying to uh, get this dream to come true, you know? Um, yeah. So I, yeah. You seem to, to give yourself. I mean I, tr I mean, I try. I believe that as an artist, you know, you have to give yourself. You, you put yourself in front so that you have to open yourself up to your audience, to the public, you know? So, uh, there is no point in you being an artist and not giving out your whole self because you're trying to, to get people to understand and know what is going through somebody's mind or trying to send a message somehow. And if you don't give the whole of yourself, then, you know, it doesn't really work. It doesn't really touch where, where it needs to go. To go. That's true. I mean, you and I, you and I can, can say that, but, but uh, you and I also have seen professionals on the field uh, who still hold, you know, some of them inside. So uh -huh. it's always refreshing. Um, as part of this, this program, I mean, I, I, I have a pool of questions where people okay. ask me questions, right? I, I started mm -hmm. a while back answering them myself and then I figured, you know, why not? Why? I mean, why not invite other people to share other perspectives <laughs> and other views, right? And Definitely. I'm really happy that you, you, you accepted to, to, to participate. So I'm going to pick two questions from the pool. Uh -huh. First one that I picked says, I love to sing, but it's difficult for me to maintain the same key while singing. And then that's it. That's all they want. <laughs> I suppose they ask <laughs> for a, a tip on, on how yeah. to, to maintain the same key. What would you tell this, this young singer? I mean, it depends uh, what you are singing with. I think everybody can find it a little difficult to, to maintain the same key, you know? most of the times we are helped by what is accompanying us to be yeah. able to be on the same key. But the other thing could be, you know, the other thing that could help one is ear training. So if you do ear training or training, you get to start singing and, you know, finding out if you can start from the same key and end at the, at the same key, you know, and it also has to do with some vocal technique too. You know, if you, technique. you uh, your technique, Exactly. If your technique is not uh, really good, you know, you might end up pushing your voice and then that might push the voice higher or lower, you know, so you pitch or you go flat. 
and things like that. So um, I think it takes some work to get to fix that problem of uh, not being able to sing on pitch the whole time. True, true. I mean, it's not, it doesn't mean that there's something wrong with the, with the singer, because sometimes people feel like they're suddenly defective, you know, and I, like I cannot mm -hmm. I don't have this. I, I guess. Definitely. That's why, that's why I started by saying every one of us can have that problem, you know, and it's, yeah. it's, it's a problem that one can work hard to fix. You know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sometimes uh -huh. I mean, um, sometimes it's mental. Where if you hesitate on on a, on a note, you can really get out. And of worse, course. worse, you might not even realize that you're out, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> mental <laughs> sometimes is technical too. You know, yeah. so there there are many factors that could be making the singer uh, feel that particular way. But it does not mean there's anything wrong with them or their voices, you know. Yeah, they just need yeah. to know how to work through it, how to train their ear to listen to themselves and be able to maintain uh, cool. the right pitch. About this listening to, to themselves part, I mean, training the ear, what, do you have like one tip, something about, about ear training? I don't know, anything, even if, it's, uh, <laughs> even if it means... So... Uh, I mean, you know, uh, like as we work in, 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 in school, in classes, if you have oral classes, to be able to sing a scale, get yourself the tonic and be able to sing a whole scale and also practice on intervals, you know, singing from one note to the other and making sure that, you know, you remain in the key. That, that really, that can help you, can help one. Yeah, yeah. I have noticed working online that sometimes uh, genuinely people don't get the difference between what they sing and what they, they, they are trying to sing. So mm. what I do is I break it down to actual notes and I say, all right, fine, get two notes and, and record it somewhere and, and keep it and then sing those two notes and, and take one at a time and realize whether you can convince yourself that they are the same. And, and sometimes, <laughs> sometimes they do uh -huh. think that different things are the same, in which case we dive a bit deeper. But yes, uh, things like this, repeating skills, listening differently, you know, um, I suppose it can of help for, for, for this, this young singer. I suppose um, nothing is wrong with you. You, you just need to, to keep at it, you know, focus on, on, on some of these things. It's not one thing. It can be a set of factors uh -huh. um, that will uh, make that you start in one key and then you God help us all know where you end and um, uh -huh. you can narrow it down and stay on the same key it's not it's not a train smash of course right. uh, the second one I have for you today is uh, I read it in French first it says bonjour maestro mon souci est de savoir comment garder la voix en forme chaque jour so basically how do I keep my voice in shape every day? And uh, mm. yeah, you're, look, you're a professional. You sing. <laughs> <laughs> How do you keep your voice in that shape is, every day? That is a very difficult question. Um, yes. That mm. uh, people don't actually realize it is. But I think um, it takes lots and lots and lots and lots of practice. Lots of practice, but not at the same time too, you know? So mm -hmm. you have to set yourself a time uh, to practice every day, you know, to keep working on your voice, to keep uh, uh, making sure that you're sounding good, you're sounding healthy all the time, trying not to push the voice, working with your body, working with your breath, you know, trying to, to find all these other little things that end up making your voice what your voice is and what your voice should be. So um, I, I sing a lot. I try to keep fit. You know, I try to work out a little bit so that my body is, you know, yeah. always energized. Like, I, you know, I know how to, you know, and uh, you have to drink. I drink a lot of water to try to keep the voice hydrated all the Church. time. Church. Exactly. You know, water is very, very important. Yes. 
and you warm up the voice, you exercise the voice, you see how low you can sing, how high you can sing. And also you, you need to learn your body and your voice, you know, your, your body most of the time can tell you if you're not okay and if yeah. you should stop pushing your voice, you know, and the voice is a weird instrument because it sounds according to what your voice is feeling. And if you are stressed out and if you're not okay, if you're emotional somehow, we will hear it in, in the voice. I, I know with me that's how I hear that. I know I'm not okay. I'm so tense today because of I'm stressed about my school work or I'm stressed about a performance or something. And then I'm not able to relax and let my voice be free. And then, you know, in the process, I might end up hurting that voice too. True. So it's it's very it's a very delicate instrument that we have and so each and everyone has their own way of working with it and uh making it work for them you know but those are a little bit of some of the things that I do for for my voice it's true i know you mean you i for one sometimes when it's just not working i it, i have to stop and start investigating like what what might be the issue here and it's not necessarily technical issue you something may be mm -hmm. bothering you and you maybe don't even realize that something is bothering you right of uh, course it's like one morning i think you and i were to sing with uh, who else was there and the rehearsal was in the morning and and, mm -hmm. we, we, and that particular morning i was in such shape that in my mind, it, there was no idea that there's the morning and stuff because you know sometimes we start off like this or little, but I just went for yeah. it. And 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 it's it it wasn't a decision that I made. It's after the rehearsal that I was like, hold on, this this is different, and I had to go back and realize that actually there's a couple of things that are putting me in good spirit, and and this is why uh -huh. the voice is just responding like this at nine o'clock in the morning, and you know going for all the highs with everything that you've got and, and stuff like that exactly so, so yeah it's it's um it's true the the looking after the voice is, is it's much more than something sitting here right it's yep it's it's much more than something sitting down and with the abdominal belt it's uh -huh. a host of things and i like sometimes to to take it as if you're going to be fit, you know, singing is a physical exercise. You, you need to look after your diet. You need to look after uh -huh. after your your yourself emotionally. You need to look after the actual singing of one note and the other, polish uh -huh. up the technique and stuff. But like you said, it's not everything every day, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah. what it actually means to be vocally in good shape can be a lot of things. So yeah, yeah, I, I do, I do agree with you on that, and I hope, I hope he does get it. I hope he does get it because yeah. many times you get okay. I need to keep my voice in shape, and then it means scales morning, scales afternoon, scales evening, scales. And if after a month things are not working out, it's frustration that you know this whole thing is not working. But it's important to realize that there's it's it's everything. Like I tell my students oh. sometimes. What sings of course. your whole body, your makeup, your hairstyle, and your shoes included? Because they affect <laughs> how you feel. It's true. <laughs> Definitely. If you don't Definitely. like your hairstyle, you, you might not deliver. <clears throat> you might not deliver. But you know, it also, it also I'm, I'm just thinking about something that some things are also external. And so we don't think about them or we don't think yeah. they might affect our voice. Yeah. Like... Some simple things like for me being uh, around smoke being around people smoking or whatever yeah. it affects my throat yeah being in a noisy place where i have to speak loud the whole time it affects my voice it tires me out yeah. you know so uh, allergies affect your voice yeah. so there are a lot of things that can affect the voice inside you and outside right. so it is that's why i'm saying it is really a delicate, delicate. Um, instrument yes so look out for yeah. that too look out for that mm -hmm. that's something important about listening to your body you, you really need to be able to listen to your body i i was i was telling someone recently that um 
how you think, how your body thinks mm -hmm. is as identifiable physically as how you know you have a headache or how you, you realize I'm, I have a fever or, or you, 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 feel, you feel, you know, uh, you're hungry. You can mm -hmm. identify the physical sensation of you singing right as physically as that. So if it's not exactly. in place, you will feel it physically, right? And then mm -hmm. you, can, you, can, you can find out why. But if you haven't gotten yeah. to that point, I guess one should be listening a bit more for that kind of aspect of, uh, of, of what it means to sing. Of course. Right. I want to close with something, something beautiful, right? And, and uh, <laughs> if you don't mind, I'm not going to ask you to sing something for us. <laughs> if you don't mind, okay. uh, do you have uh, an, an interesting uh, experience that you would like to share uh, of your journey that can help those watching realize that first of all we're all humans people face challenges and and that uh, when it comes to singing uh, you know there, there are ways to, to keep going ah <sighs> so <laughs> <laughs> this is a hard one too uh, but you know we we are different so years back there was a year where I did uh, this big role that I, I, at some point felt that maybe it wasn't something I was supposed to sing. Mm -hmm. And I had, uh, I struggled a lot through that rehearsal process because of while we were busy rehearsing, I felt like I, I was useless. You know, I had, I had been singing wonderfully and I had been growing and I had been enjoying my growth but it was at that point when I thought, maybe, maybe the singing is not for me. Because ah. I, was, I, I was struggling emotionally to cope with the role. I was struggling vocally to cope with the role. I felt like I wasn't good enough. I felt like, you know, it, hey, I should just quit, you know. And um, most, mostly the problem was that I thought that I wasn't, uh, ready to sing that role, you mm -hmm. know, but uh, I think that's what made me struggle so much. But I could have actually uh, been ready if I told myself that, okay, people trusted me to sing this and they know my voice and they think I can sing it, you know. Yeah. And if I had also like the support is right and everything, it was just a me doubting myself moment. Okay. And, uh, I got to perform that role and it was okay. You know, it was okay. Nobody died. I sang all the <laughs> notes and it was great. And it was a great experience for me to learn how to uh, take things that I don't think are for me or are, you know, how to know how to judge if a thing is correct for me and how, if I should take it and how to, say no to things that I know are not right for me because, hey, we only have one pair of uh, vocal cords and if they're gone, they're gone, yeah. you know? So I felt like it was a lesson for me to know that uh, if th something is not, does not feel good or it's not for you, just say no, you know? There's no use in taking all the money and going away with no voice, right? Yeah. yeah. But then, after the whole uh, experience, I, I struggled the, that whole year. I was, I was not myself, you know, I was not myself. I beat myself up so much for doing it. And as I said, it was great, you know, uh, but I was just like, I shouldn't have, you know, maybe I shouldn't be singing anymore. Maybe I don't want to sing, maybe this, maybe that, you know? And then a few years later, I, I left. I met a guy, a teacher, that was just like, hey, you know, you got to snap out of that because of that whole experience that happened to you. It's now dampening your light. It's yeah. dimming your light because now you, you're not the same person you were before you did this role, you know, get out of it, snap out of it. And um, I snapped out of it and I was still not as confident. I could never get my confidence level back, you know, mm -hmm. until... Uh, 
I was here and, you know, companies started hiring me, orchestra started hiring me and I started performing and I was just like, hmm, okay, so I'm still worth something. I'm still good enough, you know, yeah, yeah. if people want me, I'm not as bad as I am. And that for me was just a, a very long but very good lesson because of, you know, it took years for me to get back to that point. And I'm not sure if I'm still back where I am, but I'm so grateful for the experience, you know, mm -hmm. of learning that uh, as singers, we go through hardships, we go through things that, you know, we feel like we are right in the depth of everything. And if you are patient with yourself, if you are ready to listen to yourself and work at yourself and, and, you know, and keep working and keep working patiently, you can get back up there, you know, yeah. like nothing ever happened, you know? Absolutely. So that became my lesson uh, about my singing and that every time I wake up and I sing and it's not great, I'm just like, uh, I know next week it will be fine. I'll work yeah. on it. it yeah. You know, I'll work on it next week. It will sound great again. Yeah. So, so whatever, uh, whatever, come what may, don't doubt yourself. Of course, come what may, don't, don't doubt never you. ever doubt yourself. Some days you know? are going to be good, some days are going to be bad, some days are going to, you know, I had, I took on a, a crazy challenge not so long ago, it's very recently, and there were many of my students involved, and I decided I'm going to mm -hmm. keep on chain up two areas, that uh, three areas that summed up to about 20 high C's. The last two wouldn't mm. come out, right? Mm. Uh, as well, it was fine. As well, it was fine, but I, I, didn't, I didn't gauge the energy management. Mm. I, I was just coming out from giving a master class. So mm. I, I, I finished giving a master class and jumped right into the concert with guests, of course, and started, and those were towards the end. So I, I, mm. I thought I had enough energy, and it just didn't have enough. So started out great, but the, the last two high seas just wouldn't, wouldn't, have, wouldn't obey, right? So um, in my mind, it was like, wow, this is, this is such, had this happened years back, I would have been crushed. I would have been like, oh my God, in front of an audience, you know? But now I yeah. understand, I understand that it's there and as, as I was going, my body right on stage was telling me that, dude, there's not enough fuel for what you're trying to do. I was already on stage. Mm. I could have stopped. I didn't, mm. you know, and things like this. But what you're saying is absolutely golden. Many people quit, especially when you're, you're in a choir, which is, I'm in Cameroon, and I'm from Cameroon. I grew up in a choir in Cameroon. And uh -huh. being a chorister, you, you dream. You want to be there. You want to do. You want to sing. You know, in, in all the on all these things. If you want to, you want to, and many stop because of a performance that didn't go right. One performance, right? One. And many stop. They're just like this thing is not for me. And and what you're saying is you went through that even at professional level. The point is that you can get through it. It will hit you. It doesn't generally warn you. You know where you are when it hits you. But for God's sake, don't, don't, you know, deprive the world from what you have to offer of unique because one thing didn't go right. You know? I really love that uh, experience. Thank you so much for sharing it. And, and it's, uh, uh, it, it, really, it really shows that, you know, um, that self-doubt thing, that self-doubt thing, it, it, it can stay with you. And, and even if it stays with you for years, like it was your case, you can overcome it every day uh-huh definitely we 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 have a very special gift i think as singers yeah and uh, people who sing because you know our inst instrument is inside of us so uh you have to really be patient with yourself yeah you have to you have to be patient with yourself and be kind to yourself yeah. we are often judged by the world out there. Oh, she's flat. Oh, she's fat. Oh, she's dark. Oh, she's, you know, all those things. And sure. you can't come home and say, oh, I sound bad too, on top of everything, you know? 
you must have that one thing that lifts you up. And it's a lesson that I'm learning too, that I'm still learning even today that, you know, be kind to yourself, that be is- kind to your body, be kind to your mind. Because once you start saying, I sound bad, you are going to sound bad because that's what you yeah. believe, you yeah. know? And so we, 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 we be kind to yourself. Just be kind to yourself. Thank you so much, Kosti, for being here today. Thank you for your time, your availability. I mean, we've been trying to have this appointment for a very long time. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. I know. I know. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you I'm so glad so it happened. Thank you. Thank you. And I, I hope things get better in the U.S. over there. And, and, and that soon you can join your entire fan base on stages again. Of course, I hope so too. And I wish everything of the best to you and your studio, your students, and to everybody that watches this, you know, that they can learn something from it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Keep well. Bless you. I will. You too. Bless you too. (laughs) Bye-bye.